Good morning, good evening, good night. Where are we watching this transmission? It is I, Mike Martins, with a weekly housing wrap-up of Canada Housing Talk. This is part 33,000. Let's continue. Vancouver condo presales hit a multi-year low for absorption. What does that mean? Slowing greater va uh, Vancouver and real estate market is hitting a presale condos. Numbers of MLA Canada and condo presale marketing agencies show new projects are seeing a slow absorption in February. The slowing of sales is sending relative demand to levels that could send prices lower. Supply and demand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Greater Vancouver new condo sales are plummeting in Greater Vancouver. So let's continue reading this little masterpiece here. This one looks like a pretty good one brought to us by Better Dwelling. Woo! All right. Let's keep going. Greater Vancouver condo sales are plummeting. Greater Vancouver condo sales of new projects are slowing down very quickly. There were an estimated 171 pre-sales picked up in February, down 9.41% from the month before. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Greater Vancouver condo pre-sales of new projects are slowing down very quickly. Their estimated 171 pre-sales picked up in February down for 9.41% from the month before. Wow. Ooh. This represents 88% decline compared to the same month last year. Fewer re uh, releases than last year meant decline was expected, just not at large, uh, just not as a large decline. So we're going into to, to releases here. So this is, let me read this one part here. The, the number, um, the number of new units launch for sale made a sharp decline to developers hold back new projects. Of course they are because they're, they're, they're losing their shirts out there. There were an estimated 1,144 new units released to market in February, up 14.7% from the month before. This represented the, a decline of 48.2% when compared to the same month last year. That's almost half of the inventory added this time last year. But you'll see why when we compare absorption. So Greater Vancouver, Vancouver pre-sales real estate listings. So here it is. New inventory, 618. New inventory, 1,144. That's in February 2019. New inventory, 997. Oh, let's go back to 2017. So it's kind of a, a hit, like, uh, like a, kind of a, a bizarro wave. Wow. This is going to hit the, this is going to bite the big one. Toronto new home sales fall to the lowest level since Great Recession. Now, these are home sales. The once scorching Toronto home market continues to cool. Build GTA, a trade group representing GTA home builders. Numbers show prices slipping in February. The slip was enlarged, but combined with rising inventory and falling sales. Could we get worse soon? Last month was the fewest sales for the month of February since that, since that, since that. I know what they're going to say. Great Depression or the recession. Since the Great Recession. I know Better Dwelling. I can like I predict what they're going to say now because I've read thousands of articles from Better Dwelling. Okay, new home prices slid, but condo apartments did better than detached. Why? Cheaper inventory. Everyone jumps on because of FOMO. FOMO exists. FOMO is alive and well out there, and people are scared they're going to miss out. So FOMO is real. FOMO is not a joke. You guys, I'm not joking with you, okay? FOMO is real, I say. Uh, the benchmark of detached homes fell to 1.122 in February, so they're still at 1.122. Do you guys see what you remember? <sighs> did a video last night with Mike. I did a, a surprise Mike in the night last night. Everybody was asleep. It was nice and quiet, and uh, yeah, I couldn't sleep. So I made a Mike in the night, and I kind of talked and kind of threw threw a few things out there. <sighs> okay. Okay. And we were looking at um, Fort Worth, Texas, which you could buy for like 300 grand. People were like, that's like a mansion. That house in Sydney or Toronto or Vancouver is like four or five million bucks. That's like a, an absolute mansion with a half a kilometer drive in, like to drive into your house, protected by trees and nature. And you're, you're, and then you, you do have neighbors. You're not in the bush. Like you're, you're outside of a major metropolis, right? So, yeah. 
So when people, so 1.12, and I've been telling people for the longest time, people are delusional when they pay prices for this. So Greater Toronto new home sales, here it is here. Cha 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 cha, and it's declining. There it is in 09. And there's when they lowered, when they tweaked interest rates and everything just started going nuts. And then, oh, yeah, and then foreign investing took advantage of those low rates. So here's the new home sales. We covered this on trends in the housing market. There's Durham. So uh, down, 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 uh, up, up. No, 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 down, 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 and Toronto down. And there, there it is from, look at the new sales from Toronto in 2017. Holy crap. That's for February by region. Uh, Toronto home inventory continues to raise supply and demand. Remember this a whole supply and demand uh, thing they've been signaling us for the longest time? It's not supply and demand, sweet peas. It's never been supply and demand. Anyways, kind of wanted to throw that out there. Uh, to, uh, Greater Toronto new sales to, uh, to active. Here it is here, February 2017, 2018, 2019. And uh, Greater Toronto new prices aren't doing bad, but condo apartments are doing well. So, yeah. The February 17, 18, and 19, that looks pretty bad. Uh, sales to active ratio in the comments i need you in the comments guys canadian real estate demand slips further in february we covered that already this week's top stories canadian real estate hit with the price declines predatory loan scheme and billions in anonymous buys i did cover that too billions of dollars coming into canada especially the city of toronto and vancouver where people just don't know where the money's coming from through Shell companies via shell company, via shell company, via numbered company, via offshore account, via Mickey Mouse, Banana Republic. Anyways, guys, that is your Canadian housing talk wrap up. I wanted to hit a few uh, important topics here. Don't forget to share me and get me out there. I've taken down my tip jar. I don't need to accept tips anymore, guys. We are doing good here. I just got to get a new mic. I need, to, I need to get my Amazon two-step process fixed because i can't order anything but nonetheless thank you so much and if you want to support the transmission share one of my videos it means a lot to me thank you so much to everybody out there big hug big hug big hug and smiles thank you so much